Embarking on a journey to discover life's purpose, we're faced with big questions that touch the very essence of our being. Have you ever stopped to wonder, what if realizing the greatest mystery of life is as simple as being more aware? Or thought about how our toughest times might actually show us something truly important about ourselves? What about the idea that how we see time and reality could change everything for us? Today, we're diving into these deep questions, inviting you along on a special journey. We aim to find out what life is really about, guided by the ancient yet timeless wisdom of Buddhism, mixed with practical insights for our lives today. This isn't just about looking for answers. It's about embarking on a personal adventure that, while shared by many before us, is uniquely yours to explore. It's a journey that promises not only discoveries, but a new way of seeing and living in the world. With Buddha's teachings as our guide, we'll explore how to live more mindfully, show more kindness, see beyond our immediate perceptions, and understand the true nature of happiness. Each step is meant to not only enlighten us, but also empower us to make positive changes in our own lives and in the lives of others. Together, we'll tackle the big issues, our endless wants, how to use our inner strengths wisely, what happens when we don't know something, and how our view of time and reality shapes everything we do. We'll look into living life on purpose, the benefits of growing our abilities, understanding the difference between what's in our heads and what's really out there, and even finding worth in the hard times. This video is more than just a watch. It's an open door to changing how you understand life and its challenges. It's about finding balance, connecting deeply with others, and building a community grounded in care and understanding. We want to bring Buddha's deep teachings right into our everyday lives, helping us all navigate today's world with wisdom from long ago. So, if you're searching for direction, a spark of inspiration, or just curious about a Buddhist take on what life's all about, stick with us to the end of this video. And if what we share speaks to you, lights up something inside, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Wisdom in Real Life. Your support means we can keep bringing meaningful insights and useful wisdom that really makes a difference. Let's start this journey together with open hearts and minds, ready to discover not just life's purpose, but how to live it with more joy, awareness, and fulfillment. This introduction paves the way for discussions that are not only engaging and thought-provoking, but also crafted to keep you hooked, encouraging deep reflection on personal experiences and the teachings of Buddhism. 1. Mindfulness and Human Desires Navigating through life, we often find ourselves chasing after what we want, like a ship sailing towards the horizon, always looking for the next thing that promises happiness. But what if the key to true contentment lies not in the chase, but in the here and now? This is where the practice of mindfulness comes in, shining a light on the path to understanding our desires and finding joy in the simplicity of the present moment. Mindfulness is like a gentle guide, showing us how to live fully in each moment, appreciating the world around us without rushing to the next thing. It teaches us to pay attention to our thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. Imagine you're sitting by a river, watching leaves float by. Each leaf could represent a thought or a desire. Mindfulness teaches us to observe these leaves without grabbing onto them, simply letting them drift by. This way of being helps us distinguish between fleeting whims and what our hearts truly long for. It's easy to get swept up in wanting more, more gadgets, more clothes, more everything especially in a world that constantly tells us we need these things to be happy. Mindfulness, however, invites us to find contentment in what we already have, discovering that happiness often comes from connection and simplicity, not from accumulating stuff. Incorporating mindfulness into our daily lives can be quite straightforward. It might be taking a moment to breathe deeply before we start our day, savoring our food bite by bite, or really listening when someone is talking to us. 
These small acts can transform our everyday experiences, grounding us in the present and making life richer and more meaningful. The Buddha, whose teachings form the foundation of mindfulness, is a prime example of this transformation. He went from a prince surrounded by luxury to someone who found profound peace and happiness in the simplicity of life. His journey teaches us that understanding and managing our desires can lead to true enlightenment and joy. Practicing mindfulness not only benefits us on a personal level, but also improves our emotional well-being, making us more resilient and compassionate. Like a sturdy anchor in choppy waters, mindfulness keeps us steady amidst life's challenges. This inner peace allows us to face difficulties with a calm and open heart, offering kindness to ourselves and others. But the influence of mindfulness doesn't stop with individual peace, it ripples out to those around us. By becoming more present and compassionate, we can create stronger, more understanding connections with others. This sense of interconnectedness is one of the most beautiful aspects of mindfulness. It reminds us that by finding calm within ourselves, we contribute to a more peaceful world. Mindfulness is much more than a personal practice. It's a way of life that can positively impact society. By quieting the constant noise of wanting, we open ourselves up to deeper connections, creative expressions, and an appreciation for the beauty of life. We discover that happiness isn't about accumulating things, but about living a life filled with meaningful moments. In essence, mindfulness and our understanding of desires teach us that happiness and fulfillment are found not in external possessions, but in cherishing the present moment. It's about realizing that the most beautiful parts of life are often the simplest ones, accessible to us right here, right now. As we move forward, let's embrace mindfulness as a guide, helping us navigate through life with grace and wisdom. Remember, each moment of mindfulness is a step toward understanding ourselves and the true nature of our desires. Let's cherish this journey, allowing it to lead us to a life of purpose, joy, and profound contentment. 2. Compassion as Inner Resource Management Life is like a big, intricate puzzle where our inner strengths, how we feel, think, and connect with something bigger, are the pieces that fit together to make the picture complete. Imagine one of these pieces, compassion, as a superpower that helps us and those around us feel better and stronger. Compassion means understanding when someone is having a tough time and wanting to help make it better. It's a beautiful thing that can change lives, starting with our own. First off, being kind to ourselves is where it all begins. It's like putting on your oxygen mask first before helping others. When we're gentle with our own mistakes and struggles, we build a well of kindness inside that we can then share with everyone else. It's about recognizing that it's okay to be imperfect and still be worthy of kindness, ours and others. Bringing compassion into our everyday lives can be as simple as sharing a smile, listening to a friend without checking our phones, or helping someone in need without expecting a thank you. These small acts can create a ripple effect, spreading warmth and connection far and wide. It's amazing how a simple act of kindness can break down walls, showing us how much we all have in common. The Buddha, a wise teacher from long ago, shared many stories about the power of compassion. He showed that by helping others, we also help ourselves. Compassion connects us deeply with others, helping us to see beyond our own lives and understand we're all in this together. This connection makes our own problems seem smaller and our happiness bigger. Studies have even found that being compassionate can make us happier and healthier. It's as if by giving away kindness, we get even more back. It turns out that being good to others is also really good for us, making us feel more connected and satisfied with life. Compassion can also make our relationships better, whether with family, friends, or co-workers. When we approach others with an open heart, ready to understand and support, we build trust and friendship. This doesn't just make us feel good, it makes our community stronger and more loving. On a bigger scale, 
compassion has the power to solve some of the biggest problems facing the world today. By seeing everyone as deserving of kindness and help, we can work together to make the world a better place for everyone. Whether it's volunteering, donating, or standing up for what's right, every act of kindness adds up to a big difference. But being compassionate isn't always easy. It asks us to look beyond our own needs and sometimes to give without getting anything in return. Yet, the benefits are huge. By being kind, we not only make our own lives better, but also help to create a kinder, more caring world. Compassion is a journey that never really ends. It invites us to keep growing, learning to listen more deeply, and to act with kindness even when it's hard. It teaches us about the power of love and how it can transform our world from the inside out. In the end, compassion is more than just a nice idea. It's a practical way to make life better, for ourselves and for the world. Every small act of kindness is a step toward a happier, more connected world. So let's keep compassion at the heart of everything we do, making the world a warmer, brighter place for all of us to share. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 3. The Dangers of Ignorance and Awakening Walking through life without fully understanding ourselves, others, and the world around us is like trying to find our way in the dark. This lack of understanding or ignorance can lead us to make mistakes, feel lost, and miss out on connecting deeply with others. But there's a light that can lead us out of this darkness, a process called awakening. Awakening helps us see clearly, understand deeply, and live more fully. It's like turning on a light in a dark room, revealing a world of color and detail we didn't know was there. Imagine walking through a thick fog where you can't see much. This fog is ignorance. It makes us bump into things, take wrong turns, and miss out on seeing the beauty around us. It keeps us from making good choices because we can't see what's really happening or understand why things are the way they are. But everyone has the ability to clear this fog, to understand more about life and themselves, and to find a clearer, brighter path. The journey to awakening starts with a spark, a moment when we realize there's more to discover about life and ourselves. This spark can come from many places, something new we learn, a challenge we face, or a quiet moment when we see the world in a new way. It's a feeling that there's more to life, inviting us to look closer and understand more. As we start to awaken, we begin to question things, our beliefs, our habits, and how we see the world. It's like looking at an old picture of ourselves and realizing how much we've changed. This questioning can be tough because it means facing things about ourselves we might not like. But it's also freeing because it helps us let go of old ideas that don't help us anymore and find new, better ways of being. One of the most beautiful things about awakening is realizing how connected we all are. It's seeing that someone else's happiness and struggles are not so different from our own. This understanding makes us kinder and more understanding, helping us feel less alone and more a part of the world. Awakening also helps us enjoy the moment we're in. Instead of worrying about the past or future, we start to see the beauty and joy in the here and now. It's like noticing the warmth of the sun on our face or the taste of our favorite food. Life becomes richer and more colorful. On this journey, we don't have to go it alone. There are many others who have walked this path before us, sharing their wisdom and stories. They remind us that we're part of something bigger, a story that includes everyone. Their experiences can guide us, inspire us, and make us feel connected. But awakening isn't always easy. It takes bravery to keep exploring and growing, especially when it means facing tough truths about ourselves. Yet, the rewards are huge. We find a deeper sense of peace, clarity, and happiness that makes everything feel more alive. Awakening changes how we act, too. With a clearer understanding of ourselves and the world, we're more careful about what we say and do. We become more thoughtful, making choices that are better for us and those around us. The best part about awakening is that it never really ends. 
there's always more to learn, more to discover, and more ways to grow. It's a journey that keeps unfolding, showing us new paths and possibilities. By choosing to awaken, we choose a brighter way of living. We learn to move through life with more grace, understanding, and love. Not just making our own lives better, but also shining a light for others to follow. Let's take this journey together, stepping out of the fog of ignorance and into the light of understanding, where every step is an opportunity to learn, every moment a chance to connect, and every day a chance to see the world in a new, brighter way. 4. Time, Experience, and Conscious Living Living consciously is like being the captain of your ship, steering through life with purpose and awareness. It's about really understanding how precious our time is and filling it with things that truly matter. Think of it this way. Every day is a page in your book of life, and living consciously means writing a story you'd love to read over and again. First up, let's talk about the rush of life. It's so easy to get caught in the whirlwind of doing things, ticking off task after task. But what if we hit the pause button? Imagine slowing down, really savoring each moment like your favorite chocolate. That's what conscious living invites us to do, to cherish every bit of now, because this moment is the only one guaranteed to us. The present moment is like a gift waiting to be unwrapped. The past is already gone, and the future hasn't arrived yet. Living consciously teaches us to unwrap the present, to live deeply in the here and now. It's finding joy in the simple things, a cool breeze, a good meal, a chat with a friend. These moments, as simple as they seem, are where the magic of life unfolds. Our experiences, big or small, are not just things that happen to us. They're lessons, opportunities to learn, grow, and discover new things about ourselves and the world. Each experience adds a unique brushstroke to the painting of our lives, making it more vibrant and full. Sharing our lives with others, really connecting on a deep level, is a key part of conscious living. It's about creating relationships that are rich and full of meaning. When we open up and share our true selves, we not only make our own lives richer, but also touch the lives of others. Choosing to spend our time on things that reflect our true values and dreams is vital. It's saying yes to the things that light us up inside and no to those that don't. This makes our lives feel more valuable, more aligned with who we really are. It's about making choices that feel right in our hearts. Living consciously also means being mindful of our impact on the world. Our choices, from what we buy to how we travel, affect not just us, but the planet too. Making thoughtful decisions shows we care about the world we live in and want to protect it for future generations. Letting go of things that no longer serve us, whether it's stuff we own, relationships that have run their course, or outdated beliefs can free us up. It opens the door to new experiences and ideas, making room for growth and new beginnings. Life is full of twists and turns, and living consciously means embracing this uncertainty with flexibility and resilience. It's about riding the waves, learning from the ups and downs, and coming out stronger on the other side. Practicing gratitude Focusing on what we're thankful for shifts our view from what's missing to what's abundant. This feeling of thankfulness makes life richer, filling it with happiness and contentment. Remember, living consciously isn't a destination, it's a journey. There's no final stop, just endless opportunities to learn, grow, and evolve. It's about staying curious, kind, and open to the wonder all around us. By choosing to live consciously, we decide to fill our days with meaning, connection, and joy. We take charge of our story, making each moment count. Let's take this journey together, embracing each day with open hearts, ready to experience the beauty and depth that life has to offer. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 5. Enhancing life by enhancing faculties. To truly enhance our lives, we can start by sharpening our abilities. Think of it as tuning a musical instrument to play the most beautiful music. 
Our mental, emotional, and physical skills are like keys on a piano. And when they're in harmony, life plays a melody that resonates with joy and clarity. This journey of self-improvement doesn't just make us better at tasks or more knowledgeable. It deepens our connection to life itself, making every moment richer and more fulfilling. Imagine your mind as a garden, just as a garden needs care, watering, sunlight, and weeding. Our minds flourish with nourishment, learning, and the removal of negative thoughts. Cultivating a mindset eager for knowledge turns life into an endless adventure, where every experience and challenge is an opportunity to grow. This doesn't mean we need to know everything, but being open to learning keeps our garden vibrant and ever-expanding. Our emotional health is just as crucial. Like a river, emotions should flow freely, not be dammed up. Learning to navigate our feelings, understanding what they are, and how to express them healthily ensures that our emotional river nourishes our lives rather than overflowing or drying up. It's about balance, allowing ourselves to feel deeply while also managing our emotions so they enhance, not dictate, our lives. Physical well-being, too, plays a pivotal role. A well-tuned body supports a sharp mind and resilient emotions. This isn't about achieving peak athleticism, but finding activities that keep us feeling strong, flexible, and vibrant. Whether it's walking, yoga, or dancing in your living room, moving our bodies with intention is a form of gratitude for the life we've been given. Now, think about the power of focus. In a world buzzing with distractions, the ability to concentrate on what truly matters is a superpower. It's like using a magnifying glass to direct sunlight. Focus intensifies our energy and efforts, making us more effective and fulfilled. This skill, honed through practices like meditation, not only enhances our productivity, but also deepens our experiences. Creativity is another facet of our being that, when nurtured, can transform our lives. It's not just for artists or musicians. Creativity is in problem-solving, in how we cook, even in our conversations. Encouraging our creative side brings color and innovation to our daily routines, making ordinary moments extraordinary. Communication, the bridge between us and the world, is key. Effective communication opens doors, builds relationships, and resolves conflicts. It's about listening just as much as it's about speaking or writing, understanding as well as being understood. Improving this skill makes our journey through life smoother and more connected. Then there's the realm of spirituality, regardless of whether it's tied to religion. Spirituality connects us to the vastness of existence, reminding us that we're part of a larger story. It can be found in nature, in meditation, or in acts of kindness. This connection offers comfort, guidance, and a sense of peace. Adaptability, the ability to adjust to new conditions, is essential in our ever-changing world. It's about being flexible, not rigid, able to navigate the winds of change with grace. This skill ensures that we learn from every situation, using challenges as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. Self-discipline, the art of aligning our actions with our values and goals is the foundation upon which all other improvements rest. It's not about restriction, but about choosing what brings us closer to the life we want to lead. This mastery over ourselves is empowering, fueling our journey toward personal fulfillment. Finally, the practice of gratitude magnifies the beauty in our lives. By focusing on what we're thankful for, we open our eyes to the abundance around us. Gratitude turns what we have into enough and more, filling our hearts with contentment and joy. Enhancing our lives by developing these faculties isn't about striving for perfection, but about embracing growth, curiosity, and compassion on our journey. Each step we take in sharpening our minds, caring for our emotions, nurturing our bodies, and connecting with the world around us adds depth and meaning to our existence. Let's cherish this process recognizing that in enhancing our faculties, we're not just improving ourselves, but also enriching the tapestry of life we share with others. Six, reality. 
Psychological versus existential Diving into the world of our minds and the bigger picture of life can feel like exploring two different lands. One is the land of our thoughts and feelings, shaped by our own stories and experiences. This is our psychological reality, where every person's world is unique, like having our own personal movie playing in our heads. The other land is shared by all of us, where big common experiences like being born, facing challenges, and seeking meaning tie us all together. This is our existential reality, the big picture that we're all a part of. Our psychological reality is like a patchwork quilt made of our memories, feelings, and everything we believe to be true. It's deeply personal. For example, imagine two friends going to the same party, but coming home with completely different stories. That's because they each saw the party through their own quilt of experiences and feelings. On the other hand, existential reality is about the things that touch everyone's life. It's about the fact that we're all here trying to make sense of life, looking for connections, and facing the big questions together. It's like a vast ocean that all of our little personal boats are floating on. Sometimes, these two realities seem to be at odds with each other. Our personal quilt of thoughts and emotions can get so tangled that we lose sight of the ocean we're all sailing on. It can be hard to see beyond our own quilt to the deeper truths that unite us all. That's where enhancing our faculties or our skills of thinking, feeling, and perceiving comes in. It's like upgrading our equipment for exploring both the land of our personal reality and the vast ocean of shared human experience. When we sharpen our minds, open our hearts wider, and see more clearly, we can navigate life's complexities with greater ease and understanding. Mindfulness is like a compass that helps us steer through the clutter of our minds. It teaches us to watch our thoughts and emotions without getting lost in them, helping us to stay anchored in the present moment. This can help us react to life's twists and turns with calmness and clarity, rather than getting swept away by every wave of emotion. Building our emotional intelligence is like learning the language of the heart. It helps us understand not just our own feelings, but also those of others. This understanding can make our relationships richer and more fulfilling, bridging the gap between our personal world and the shared experiences of those around us. Critical thinking skills act as a map, helping us sort through our thoughts and beliefs to figure out what's really true. It encourages us to ask questions, stay open to new ideas, and avoid getting trapped in misleading patterns of thought. Creativity is our ability to dream and imagine, to see beyond the here and now. It's not just about making art, it's a way of thinking that can help us solve problems, grow as people, and understand the world in new ways. Creativity helps us paint outside the lines of our personal quilt, connecting with the broader ocean of existence. Resilience is our lifeboat in stormy seas. It's what allows us to face life's challenges without losing hope. Building resilience helps us weather the storms of personal turmoil and come out stronger, ready to keep exploring the vast ocean of life. Practicing gratitude turns our focus from what's missing in our quilt to the beauty of the ocean around us. It's a powerful way to connect our personal experiences with the wider world, finding joy and contentment in the journey. Lastly, embracing lifelong learning keeps us sailing forward, always seeking new horizons. It's about staying curious and open, ready to uncover new insights that deepen our understanding of both our own minds and the shared adventure of life. By exploring both the land of our psychological reality and the vast ocean of existential experience with these enhanced skills, we can live more fully and connect more deeply with ourselves and the world around us. It's a journey of discovery where every step reveals new paths and possibilities. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 7. The Value of Suffering in Ignorance Life is full of ups and downs, and sometimes the hard times can teach us a lot, even when we feel lost or unsure about what to do next. It might seem strange, but not having all the answers, being in a state of not knowing, can actually help us grow in ways we never expected. 
Let's dive into how facing challenges without a clear solution can be surprisingly helpful. When we go through tough times, it's like getting a nudge to look at our lives more closely. It can make us stop and think about where we're headed and whether we're on the right track. This moment of reflection is the first step toward understanding ourselves better and making positive changes. Feeling unsure or lost can also teach us to be humble. It reminds us that we don't know everything, which makes us more open to learning new things. This openness can lead us to discover new paths and possibilities we hadn't considered before, making us better listeners and learners. Dealing with difficulties strengthens our ability to bounce back from setbacks, just like exercising makes our muscles stronger. Facing and overcoming challenges makes us more resilient. This toughness helps us handle whatever life throws at us with more confidence. Going through hard times also makes us more understanding and kind to others. When we've felt pain without easy answers, we can relate better to what others are going through. This shared understanding can bring us closer to people, creating a sense of community and togetherness. Sometimes, being stuck or facing a problem without a clear way out forces us to get creative. We have to think outside the box to find solutions, which not only helps us in the moment, but can also inspire others to look at their own challenges differently. After we've weathered tough times, we often find more joy in the simple things. Having faced the storms, moments of peace and happiness shine even brighter. This deeper appreciation for life's little pleasures is one of the silver linings of going through hard times. Such experiences can also make us think about what's really important to us. They can prompt us to reevaluate our goals and what we value most, leading to a life that's more in line with our true selves and what makes us happiest. When we're searching for meaning or trying to make sense of our struggles, we become more present and mindful. This means paying more attention to the here and now, finding peace in the moment, even amid uncertainty. Tough times often lead us to explore deeper questions about life, our beliefs, and our place in the world. This search for meaning can strengthen our faith or spiritual beliefs, offering comfort and guidance when we need it most. Lastly, moving through uncertainty and difficulty teaches us the importance of hope and keeping going, even when the path ahead isn't clear. Hope encourages us, giving us the strength to continue reminding us that growth and better days are possible. In embracing the lessons that come from not knowing and facing challenges, we embark on a journey of personal transformation. It's a path filled with learning, growth, and a deeper connection to the world around us. Though it may be tough, this journey is rich with opportunities to become more resilient, compassionate, creative, and thankful, leading us toward a fuller, more meaningful life. 8. Conscious Living and Its Importance Choosing to live life consciously is like deciding to journey through life with our eyes wide open, noticing everything along the way. It's a way of living that brings meaning and connection into our everyday moments, linking us closer to ourselves, the people around us, and the world we live in. Living this way, we start by being fully in the present, making the most of each moment, rather than getting lost in thoughts of what was or what might be. This approach lets us enjoy the little things, like the taste of our morning coffee, the sound of a friend's laughter, or the beauty of the sky. When we live consciously, every choice we make is done on purpose. We think about the food we eat, how we spend our time, and even the things we buy, making sure they reflect what's truly important to us and contribute to our overall happiness and health. This way of choosing helps guide us toward the life we dream of, filled with moments and things that matter. This thoughtful way of living also means our relationships get deeper and more meaningful. By really being there for the people in our lives, listening and connecting genuinely, we build strong bonds that bring joy and support. Living consciously also opens us up to learning and growing from every experience, seeing challenges as chances to learn something new and keep moving forward. 
Being conscious about how we live extends to how we treat our planet. We start making choices that are better for the environment, like reducing waste and supporting green initiatives, helping to ensure a healthier world for ourselves and future generations. Plus, living this way fills us with gratitude for what we have, turning everyday moments into special ones and making us feel more content and happy with our lives. Choosing what we consume carefully is another part of living consciously. In a world where it's easy to want more and more, we think about what we really need and what adds value to our lives, helping to simplify our lives and lessen our impact on the planet. This way of living doesn't just help us handle life's ups and downs better, building resilience, but it also brings a deep sense of peace from within. This inner peace isn't about what's happening around us, but comes from knowing we're living in a way that's true to our values. Finally, living consciously encourages us to do our part in making the world a better place. Whether it's through small acts of kindness, volunteering, or spreading positivity, we contribute to a world that's more compassionate and caring. By choosing to live more consciously, we're not just enriching our own lives, we're also making a positive difference in the world around us. It's a journey that touches every aspect of our lives, transforming not just our own experiences, but also offering something beautiful to those around us. Let's embrace this journey together with open hearts, ready to see the beauty and depth it brings to our lives and the world. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 9. Interconnectedness and Community Understanding how we're all connected is like seeing the invisible threads that tie us all together, making up the big picture of life. It's about knowing that our stories, our ups and downs, are part of everyone else's too. This feeling of being connected makes us kinder and helps us understand each other better, creating communities where support and kindness flow freely. Communities are powerful. They're like big families where everyone looks out for each other. When we're part of a community, we have people to lean on, to share our joys and our troubles. It's not just about getting help when we need it. It's about feeling we belong, that we're part of something bigger. And when we all chip in, sharing what we can do and what we have, our community becomes stronger and can do amazing things. In a community, everyone brings their own slice of wisdom. This mix of experiences and ideas is like a treasure chest helping us face challenges and make smart choices. It's incredible how much we can learn from each other, growing and changing together. And when we give to others, we also get so much back. Helping someone else brings happiness and meaning to our own lives, strengthening the bonds that hold our community together. Working towards common goals can bring everyone in a community closer, whether it's making our neighborhood cleaner, starting a community garden, or helping those in need, achieving something together makes everyone feel proud and connected. And it's not just about learning from those around us. It's about celebrating how different and unique each of us is. Our differences make our community more interesting and stronger, teaching us new things and showing us new ways to look at the world. Communities are also crucial for teaching kids and passing down important values and traditions. They're where future generations learn about kindness, cooperation, and looking after the environment. And when tough times hit, communities can be a source of healing and change, showing us that together, we can overcome anything and make the world a better place. Remember, our connection doesn't stop with people. It includes our planet, too. When we realize how linked we are with the Earth, we start taking better care of it, knowing that keeping our world healthy is something we all have to work on together. So, living with this sense of interconnectedness makes everything more meaningful. It's about seeing how our actions affect others and the world, and how, by coming together, we can create a better future for everyone. This journey of being part of a community teaches us about sharing, learning, and growing together. It shows us that every one of us has a part to play, in making life better, not just for ourselves, but for everyone around us and the generations to come. Let's cherish our communities, for they are where we find strength, joy, and the power to make a difference.
10. Enlightenment as life's ultimate purpose. Seeking enlightenment is like embarking on the greatest adventure of our lives. It's about trying to understand the deepest truths about who we are and the world around us. Imagine enlightenment as a journey to discover a treasure, not of gold or jewels, but of understanding and peace. This journey helps us see beyond our day-to-day -day worries and joys to something much bigger, our connection to everything. At the heart of this adventure is the quest to really get to know ourselves beyond just our thoughts and feelings. It's like digging deep into the earth until we hit bedrock. This bedrock is our true self, unshaken by life's storms and linked to the world in a profound way. Discovering this can bring us incredible peace, as if we've found a safe harbor after a long voyage at sea. One of the most important things we learn on this journey is how to move beyond suffering. Life throws many challenges our way, but as we walk the path of enlightenment, we start to see these challenges differently. They don't disappear, but we learn not to let them knock us down. Instead, we see them as lessons or signposts on our journey, teaching us and guiding us forward. Being present, truly living in the moment, is another treasure we find along the way. Instead of getting lost in what happened yesterday or worrying about tomorrow, we learn to live here and now. This makes every moment more vivid and full of life, like seeing the world in high definition. As we travel towards enlightenment, our heart grows bigger. We feel more for others, understanding their pain as if it were our own. This doesn't make us sad. Instead, it fills us with love and a desire to help, to make things better not just for ourselves, but for everyone. The peace we find on this journey isn't just a moment of calm. It's a deep, lasting tranquility that stays with us, even when life gets chaotic. It's like being in the eye of a hurricane where everything is calm and clear, even though the winds howl around us. This journey also helps us see what's truly important. We start living on purpose, making choices that reflect what we really care about. It's like choosing the path we want our life story to take, making sure it's one we'd love to tell. One of the most beautiful parts of seeking enlightenment is the joy that comes from within, a happiness that doesn't depend on things going our way. This joy bubbles up from deep inside us, making even the simplest parts of life feel like gifts. We also start to see beauty everywhere, in the small things we used to overlook. The world seems richer, filled with wonder and magic in the most ordinary places. It's as if we've been given new eyes to see the world. Wisdom is another treasure we discover. With each step on this path, we understand life a little better. We see the lessons in our experiences, using them to grow and to help others on their journey. Finally, this journey of enlightenment inspires us to make the world a better place. Understanding how connected we are to everyone and everything, we're moved to act with kindness and compassion. We want to contribute, to share the peace and understanding we've found with others. In this way, seeking enlightenment isn't just about finding our own peace and happiness, it's about lighting the way for others too. It's a journey that transforms us, making us better friends, family members, and citizens of the world. Let's take this journey together supporting each other as we explore the depth and beauty of life and discover the true treasure of enlightenment. Conclusion As we wrap up our journey, let's pause and think about everything we've talked about. We've explored how paying attention to the here and now can change our lives, how being kind helps us and others feel better, and how facing tough times can teach us important lessons. We've also learned about the joy of living in the moment, the strength we find in friendships, and how looking after our planet is part of looking after ourselves. We've discovered that searching for deeper meaning in life is not just about us. It's a journey that can lift up everyone around us. It's like finding treasure that doesn't just make us richer but can make the whole world brighter and better. Think of all these ideas not just as things to know but as steps we can take every day. It's about seeing the good around us, 
sharing smiles, helping out, and finding happiness in simple things. Every kind action, every moment we stop to really see the world, and every effort to understand a bit more adds up. It's like putting together a big, beautiful puzzle. Every piece is important, and when we all add our pieces, the picture comes to life. Thank you for being part of this journey. Let's keep these thoughts with us as we go on. Remember, life is an amazing adventure. It's full of chances to learn, to love, and to grow. Let's step into it with our hearts open, ready to take in all the wonderful things it has to show us. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel.